I've just cut a groove into this box because I'm going to put some inlay into it. Easy inlay is what I'm going to use. Let's go and have a look at how it works. Now that I've turned a groove in my container, I'm ready to start doing my inlay. The product I'll be using is this stuff, Easy Inlay. And like its name says, it is easy to work with. Simple and straightforward. All you need is the product, which is a cultured pearl and super glue or cyan or acrylic glue. The other thing that you need that, make, that makes the process simple is an accelerator. The product comes in about 10 different colors and they come, there's some great names like Sahara, Fiji, Confetti, and uh, then there are a couple that I can't pronounce. But anyway, the product itself comes in these little containers. It's almost like um, grains, of, grains of sand or sugar. And you then insert it into the groove that you want, where you want it to go, and then you put some super glue in there. But this one here actually ends up coming up a nice green color. The one on the inside is confetti. So you can see just how attractive these are and how striking they can be. Another of the products is Mother of Pearl, which is the one that I'll use just on this little rim. But uh, later on, I'll do a, a proper thick band on the lid itself. So, as you can see, this is the effect of the Mother of Pearl. Okay, that's the slow part of the process where I've just filled that groove with a nice layer of, um, of the product. Now I need to add super glue, and for that I use thin so that it runs into every little crevice. So this will be a little bit on the messy side, but here goes. This is where the magic happens. This is when you take your uh, activator and spray, and that set the glue. It's dry, bone dry, all ready. And now, all I do is I check that against the light and make sure that every part has been filled, because now I'm gonna have to put on another coat of glue until I build it up level with the surface of my timber. And then it's time to go and clean it all up on the lathe. Okay, that's it, that's ready. I can now put this back on the lathe, trim this surface down. If I find that there are some little spots where I didn't put enough glue in, I can always come back and build that area up until I've got a nice uniform surface. So I'm back at the lathe, and uh, at this stage, all that I'm going to do is clean this surface up. I'm going to remove all the excess glue, and then make sure that I have a uniform surface in the inlaid area. I've got rid of all of the excess glue and I'm pretty confident that I have a uniform surface on the inlay. As I said before, if need be, I can always build up more of that uh, glue surface. But in the meantime, this looks quite okay. As you can see, I'm back at the bench. I've turned the top of the lid. I haven't sanded it completely. I've just done my first grade of sandpaper. And I've cut this little band, which is about six mils wide and about two to three mil deep. And that gives me a, a bed that I can start putting my uh, inlay into. So I've gone with Fiji, because I think it looks really good once the finish is put on and really, well, the term that the Americans use is pops. So 
the particles are big enough for me just to put in with my fingers, but I have to make sure that I spread them out and that they cover the whole of the, the bed area. Now that I've got all the little particles of inlay in place, it's time to glue again. So I'll use again thin glue because I want to run into all the little crevices and fill them up so I don't end up with little pockets of air once I uh, trim it all down. You notice that I've had a bit of overflow. That's not a problem because I'm going to have to trim this down later when it's back on the lathe. It's better to have too much glue on here than too little can always turn off or turn away the excess. But if you find that once you've tried to level the surface off on the lathe and you've got some pits, you can always come back and fill them again. That's all dry, nice and hard. Now I can go back to the lathe and trim this surface down and remove all the excess glue. And then it'll be a case of sanding it. I've sanded right through to 400 grit and then used some steel wool to finish off with. Some people go further with their sanding, but I find that sufficient. But now's the exciting part where I get to put a finish on here and you'll see this stuff come to life. So just a bit of cloth, some Danish oil and a wipe over and bingo. It really comes to life. And this is what, where it really comes into its own. And by the way, I did say it was easy uh, inlay and one of the best things about it is because you're using super glue or cyanoacrylic glue, you don't have to mix resins and you don't have to worry about getting the right mixture and the weight and the mess and the bubbles. And this is instant. That happens in next to no time. So there it is, easy inlay by name and by process. Easy to do, quick, and you don't have any mess to clean up. For more information, click on the links below and see you next time.